have a happy holiday. Hello everybody, welcome to this game of Dead by Daylight, and today the new chapter, Curse Legacy, chapter 14, is finally out. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into everything this chapter has, and also some gameplay of Oni. First, there is exclusive content for purchasing this chapter with money, then using iridescent shards. If you didn't know, as long as a character is not licensed, you can purchase them for 9,000 iridescent shards. But to encourage you to buy it with money, they have included an exclusive item for the survivor. So if you're a survivor, you wanna play it uh, and want to have all the cosmetics, buying it with money for, I believe it's 699 would be the way to go. So here's what her normal outfit looks like. Pink back, pink top, and the exclusive item is a white top with a pink stripe and a gold back instead. So that's just for comparison there. And that should have you covered. Um, but no, you can still get them with iridescent shards if you don't want that extra top. But understand, unless you buy the DLC, you will not get that extra bit. Um, next is the winter gifts. Essentially, there's a lot of free cosmetics that have been handed out. A new holiday tree charm. Um, Bills, which is the Survivor Ugly Sweater, and then Frost Eyes for Oni and the Plague. So those are just freebies that you'll have. Next, they've replaced the beginning trailer with the Cursed Legacy trailer. Honestly, I like the old one, but I'm sure it's only temporary. Um, disconnection penalties are not in-game and will not be till December 5th, which is a Thursday. Um, they've reintegrated uh, Survivor pre-lobby and in-custom game lobbies. Uh, for the chat, so the chat is in both of those. And then um, they've added the new characters and the thematic Cursed Legacy chapter and the new map. Rink reset essentially will now just drop you down one color. Red will go to purple, purple down to green, so on and so forth. So you just go down a certain rank instead of like going from one back to 13. Um, so that should help out. Your debuff perks will no longer appear on the HUD for survivors until the perk is in effect. So Callrophobia, for example, usually showed that they were under that effect for as long as they were in your terror radius, but now only while you're healing within the terror radius will you know that he has that perk. So that's interesting. Deep Wounds got a nerf. Deep Wounds timer now no longer has anything to do with the terror radius. Instead, it was changed to not decrease while sprinting or mending. This is how they fixed Legion, so the whole Legion kerfuffle completely knocked out of the park. Here are the Legion changes. Not honestly sure if I'm going to read them all, but I want you to know that I believe people consider this to be a nerf. The biggest thing is that his frenzy will no longer be considered a basic attack, which now means that you can't uh, stack save the best for last faster, but you can now save stacks of save the best for last uh, if you have to chase down the obsession. Otherwise, uh, several changes to his add-ons. Honestly, I feel bad for the poor guy. Uh, spirit changes... Tons of nerfs, but a lot of people saying that they are okay with the nerfs. Um, can't feel it too much, but uh, apparently some of the add-ons have become useless in comparison to what they were, um, and that's that. Bounce Landing nerf incoming. Uh, can only get the effects of anti-stun when landing without exhaustion. With exhaustion, perk doesn't even work. Kindred is changed to now be for the survivor who has it to see everyone else when they're not hooked. Uh, so if an ally is hooked, it then allows the per people with Kindred to see all survivors and then the killer. So they just pretty much swapped out who gets the effect. No one left behind, minor changes there, nothing too big. Tons of bug fixes implemented. Uh, one of the big ones I believe that a lot of people were talking about was there's not nearly as much rubber banding, therefore Nurse is a lot easier to play. So keep your eyes out for that. And on to the PTB changes that made it to live. Now we've already discussed the Deep Wound timer, uh, so that's not a big thing that we have to worry about, but here are the Oni changes. First, small buffer for spawning blood orbs when crouching. Every time you hit the crouch button, it would spawn two blood orbs. That could be mass spam to create a bunch. Now it can only happen once per second. And then when hooking a survivor, the Oni will also be given two blood orbs. When pulling a survivor out of of a locker he'll be given blood orbs and then also decrease the amount of blood orbs you get for a quick action such as vaulting uh, down to two from three the passive power build up pauses when reaching a certain threshold 
which is 98%. As important what this means is you were able to build up your frenzy without sucking in the little orbs. So now you must suck in an orb at that last bit to put yourself into frenzy. That's not a hard thing to do. After you hit them, you are guaranteed some orbs, but you must do that in order to get your power. Uh, it's, it's a decent, I guess, nerf. It's not a huge change, honestly, uh, but they did also double the time for the dash cooldown. So when he does his dash, it's not a near instant recovery if he misses. Uh, so you will uh, effectively have to deal with that. They did nerf the perk any means necessary. Oh, they kind of nerfed one side and then buffed it on another. They made it take an extra second to lift up a pallet, which is insane. I'm not sure why. Um, I honestly think the perk is pretty bad. I've seen it used. I've seen it used to get a pallet up in front of me and then slam it on me, but honestly it was 100% my fault. The buff to it is not actually even at the tier 3 either. They just reduced the amount of time on the cooldown from tiers 1 and 2. 3 wasn't even touched. So unfortunately overall it is just a straight up nerf. And then there's just additional bugs and a few known issues. Um, otherwise... Chapter came out pretty well. Uh, from everything I've played as Oni so far, it still feels like a, a kind of a combination of Hillbilly and Leatherface if you were to combine them together. And honestly, just like between Hillbilly and Leatherface, I prefer Hillbilly over 100%. Oni's power is stronger than technically the hillbilly since he doesn't bump into walls his dash is really good but the problem is he just doesn't get this power up front he has to build it up and the build up is what makes it rough and oni really struggles on indoor maps because he can't use his power nearly as much especially since he has to build it up in the first place so there's a lot to talk about there we'll go ahead and jump into game and i'll see you all in game Sanctum of Wrath at Yamoka Estate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we actually got the new map. I consider myself lucky. So here we are. We are playing as the Oni. Um, something I should correct in the beginning is you notice that I'm passively actually getting my power built up. Um, attacking does count as collecting orbs. So... That does count. It does pull an orb or two. Um, what the passive requirement was, or passive meant, was just that I wouldn't uh, get it. I don't know. I, I shouldn't have gone for that, so it was a bit greedy. He's going to drop the pallets. Nope, he's dead. That was good. So collecting these orbs, cleaning up is a great idea. Oh, oh, hello. I wish I had the power right now because getting an insta down, which I can do now, is great. But insta-downing... Oof. Insta-downing an injured unit is pretty bad. Or an injured survivor. Sorry, I got other games on my mind. Um, well, hey, we got two people down right over the basement. Five generators in. This killer's OP, OP. Yeah, Wraith could have done this. So now I have my power. And it only activates once I turn it on. Otherwise, still just an average M1 killer. So I've activated my power, and I can charge now. You can charge sideways by holding A or D and strafing, so you don't necessarily have to, um... Oof. Alright, I fully charged that like an idiot. I should have let go a lot sooner. So don't fully charge your lunge. The, the way the lunge works, you can let it go early and get the hit. I foolishly... Went for the hit. Another thing I forgot to mention in the beginning is that by picking a survivor up, you do end your power. You do end your power, but you also um, don't lose functions of it. If she lets me hit her, I get my power back, and this is a problem for them. Ooh. Who's, who's chilling around here? This has to be a survive with friends. Ah, oh, yeah, knew it. 
It does also work like Leatherface's chainsaw where you can hit multiple people. Someone rage quit. Oh no. Oh no. So while I'm trying to explain things, people are dying. This is great. You can also break pallets just charging it up partially. Easy money. I think I might have her now. Maybe. Definitely have her now. Okay, well, we got everybody. Um, I think people are still struggling. I'm learning how to play against Oni. He's really not that hard. He's a much more agile... Oh. <laughs> he's, he's a far more agile hillbilly when you let it happen. The, the key is to not let him build his power up, which means don't get hit and... It's, I would like to say that it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it, that can be a little difficult. He does need to get multiple hits, heal up, don't stay injured for too long. Those orbs stay around, but they don't provide that much power. We're going to try another game. I'll see you all soon. Wow, I almost de-pipped. Chilterwood at the McMillan Estate. Let's hope we have a better team this time, and let's hope they wreck my face. Please don't wreck my face. I would appreciate being able to show something off with maybe a, a slight bit of finesse. J just, just a slight bit, not much. Just a, that's a great spot for my totem, by the way. It's fantastic. Nobody's gonna find it there, I promise. Oh, I see someone in the di oh, there's multiple. Like roaches, they're everywhere. Now the big thing is whether or not they take the hit. Take the hit. Oh, she's, she's, she's... Got it. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, power me up, baby. Dishing this damage out. See, now I need to be able to absorb an orb. And while it passively increases, I could just be like, Oh, just one more. If she drops this, I'm guaranteed. There it is. Done. Done. But, see, this is why I don't like his power. I'm chasing someone injured. I can't use it here. It serves no perp. Jesus, your life, madam. At least I get basement. Oh my god. I got two for one. Oh. Oh. I got non injured here. We got a non injured here. they're doing not touching my stuff are you losing a lot of power here they got her up there was one over there oof oof that was good go for the pickup while I can they may be surrounding me but I'm facing the right way oh Oh, your survive with friends bully tactics don't work on me. Just gonna go ahead and prop you up there. Now, normally if I had my power charged here, this would actually be the best opportunity. Someone's right here. Oh, they were here. Give me, give me these orbs. I need way too many of them. I like to clean them up because uh, it helps you track survivors if you clean up like I know that she's gone way out of her way to leave this area oh oh we got some we got someone going in no problem no problem just walk your, you just walk your knee a butt down here Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry at all. Alright, get that, uh... 
I don't know what do we want to call it. Dying light up. I'm running save the best for last because effectively this killer is M1 for the most part. Did I see something over here? I did! Oh, someone's gonna die. Where are we going? Oh, I hope you're just here to have all the fun. Hmm. Oh, yes. Slugging's where it's at. <laughs> ah. It's delicious. I think we got them all again. Now, see, th this is the best part about his power. This whole tr I can't lose you. Unless I somehow lose you. Oh, there you are. I see you. Are you getting into a locker? No, you're dead. Now, the other problem, though, is it doesn't work while they're dying. So that you won't be able to track them like that. But that's why I like to clean up the orbs. You get some good tracking. And uh, there's my Christmas tree if you guys wanted to see it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, okay. This is, uh... Best this has ever been. Hi, you. Although, wouldn't this game be a little broke if... Maybe they shouldn't let you see blood orbs. What am I saying? Why am I trying to give nerf ideas? I don't know. I think the best part about Oni compared to... Oh, they have a savior. That's okay. I, I like this game to keep going. Anyways. A 4% though. What else was I thinking about? Oh yeah, nerfs for the things. I just wish his power would be activatable. Other one? Why, why? Don't, 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 don't. Oh. Oh. Please, no. Are those hers? They are hers. I just followed her. Ah. Oh. Frustrating? A little. Oh. I see you now. The other one's right over here. Think. Charge! This is the best. So yeah, like use A and D to kind of slide left and right. Don't worry about running into anything. It's so OP. Until you, until you swing. Don't swing. Swinging is bad. And then you could also do... Oh, you want to play this game? You want to do Demon Dash? I'll Demon Dash. Bam, bam, bam. Wait, did I just give her... Oh, she probably has Decisive. Oh, I don't want to kill the Decisive person. Damn it. Damn, Decisive Strike's ultra strong against Oni, though. So here's what I mean, also, the tracking. It's just, you can't get away from Oni. When he smells your blood, he smells bullshit. Oh, he knows bullshit when he sees it. Now, of course, by injuring... Damaging an injured survivor, though you get him down, it doesn't charge your power at all. Oh, Claudie. Schlorp. Let's just do some cleanup. I feel like I'm playing that one, uh... Viscera cleanup game. Santa's got on a rampage. Ooh, I didn't even see her there. Not until it was too late. She really played me there. She did. Congrats. Hmm. See, the other thing is, like, you're guaranteed blood for as long as you're chasing an injured person. 
So what does it matter that you have to just go instead of just passively getting it? Unless, again, if they just made it so you couldn't see the orbs when your power was charged, that would give you incentive to not have it charged. Also, other person is injured. That is the thing. Whoosh! Go find us a find us a hatch. His control is way too smooth. Way too smooth. I guess that's supposed to be the you know trade off. But can you really call it that? Unfortunately, madam, I already ran through all of this. Oh, and then that's the other problem. When your power runs out, you get stunned. And there's no turning it off on it, Will. Hi. What are we doing? What's the... Ooh. Did she have life? Oh my god, she did. Good play. Good plays. Good plays. Not good play. Not good play. You were doing fine. Until I caught you. Well, there we go. Disconnects are still a thing. They all still do it. I can't wait till I get 30 minute bands. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, just get the 30 minute bands. I actually pit. Hey. I don't know why they don't reward me properly. Damn, brand new part two toolboxes. Whew. Only S tier. Now, honestly, with if Oni could use his power at all times, he would be better than Hillbilly outright. I want to get that out of the way. I honestly love his his power, but the way that it requires a buildup, all killers kind of need a snowball to really be effective. Even Nurse, like you got to get early downs before they start pressuring your gens, because once all four people have your gens down, you're done. And so Oni is like the, it, 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 it's a nerf for nothing type deal. It's all or nothing. Everything. You either snowball and become a fearsome demon, or you have a very lackluster game. If you do not get those hits in, if you do not get that power in, if you got a map that doesn't let you go well, um, it, it can be a little rough. His power is very strong, but just like Leatherface, to counter it, be near pallets, be near windows. Very much like Hillbilly Leatherface, it is the same. It's not like Myers, where he can just do his quick lunge down, you're done. Um, it does take a little bit more time than that, but I think with some effort you can overcome him. Over time, if I figure anything out, I will post some strategies to defeating him if you're having issues. Thank you everybody for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.